can confirm now in summary that we have decided to introduce from midnight tonight for the duration of January a legal requirement to stay at home except for essential purposes. This is similar to the lockdown of March last year. In the past few weeks, there have been two significant game changers in our fight against this virus. One, the approval of vaccines is hugely positive and it does offer us the way out of this pandemic. But the other, the new faster spreading variant of the virus is a massive blow. And possibly the most simple way of explaining the challenge we face right now is to compare it to a race. In one lane, we have vaccines and our job is to make sure they can run as fast as possible. And that's why the government will be doing everything we can to vaccinate people as quickly as possible. And I will say more about that later. But in the other lane is the virus, which as a result of this new variant has just learned to run much faster and has most definitely picked up pace in the past couple of weeks. To ensure that the vaccine wins this race, it is essential to speed up vaccination as far as possible, but to give it the time it needs to get ahead, we must also slow the virus down. And because it is now spreading faster, that means even tougher restrictions are necessary. We are now seeing a steeply rising trend of infections. Indeed, it is no exaggeration to say that I am more concerned about the situation we face now than I have been at any time since March last year. For government, that means introducing tough measures as we have done so today. And for all of us, it means sticking to the rules. It means continuing to follow the facts guidance, and it means above all, staying at home. That is again, our central message. Stay home, save lives, protect the NHS. If we do this, we give the vaccine the time it needs to get ahead and ultimately win this race. I know that the next few weeks will be incredibly difficult. I'm sorry to ask for further sacrifices after nine long months of them, but these sacrifices are necessary. And the difference between now and last March is that with the help of vaccines, we now have confidence that these sacrifices will pave the way to brighter days ahead. So for everyone's sake and for everyone's safety, please stick with it and stay at home.